what is the equation of the line passing through 1 comma negative 3 that is parallel to this line that is negative 1 over 3 x minus 7 and perpendicular to the line the same line so you've got a point and a line okay so so the point is 1 comma negative 3 it is this point so this is 1 comma negative 3 so you've got this is say x1 and this is y1 the first thing is always label the points and yeah when you have an equation of a line y is equal to negative 1 over 3x minus 7 one thing that was important in this question is this is your gradient of the line this number m is the gradient which is minus 1 over 3 and this is a y-intercept this number is the y-intercept or that's where the graph cuts the y-axis so these two numbers express two different things this number without the x tells you the y-intercept that's why I drew the line through negative 7 on the y-axis and this negative gradient tells me from left to right it has to go down and that's why left to right go down so if you want to plot one more point this negative 1 means this negative 1 means you go 1 down and 3 across so this point so this is negative 8 and if you go 3 across from here this point I can say is if you go 3 across from here it's going to be uh, 3 comma negative 8 okay this is just to explain how you can get two points and then draw the line okay now that's not the focus let's come so the question is you want to draw a line which is passing through this point and parallel to this so let me draw it so that you understand uh, visually for some people it is good to understand visually so let me draw a line which looks parallel and let me drag it so basically this is a line which is this is the line that we want to find what's the equation of this line which is parallel to this line looks almost parallel okay I think this is enough let me highlight it okay so I think that is enough okay so now how can we find out so if this line if this is the line which is parallel to this line the gradient have to be the same so the gradient of this line is also minus 1 over 3 okay and if you have got m you got x1 y1 so you can write the equation of the line but just using the formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1 so let's put what is y1 y minus y1 y1 is negative 3 so y take away negative 3 is equal to negative 1 over 3 x negative 1 over 3 x minus 1 okay so let's simplify this so this is y plus 3 is equal to negative 1 over 3 times x is negative 1 over 3x and negative first multiply the signs so negative times negative is positive and then multiply the numbers 1 over 3 times 1 is 1 over 3 so now I'm going to take away 3 from both sides so y plus 3 take away 3 is equal to minus is equal to minus 1 over 3x plus 1 over 3 take away 3 take away 3 over 1 oh, let me write 3 3 okay so to write the exact answer so what will happen this and this gets cancelled so the final answer almost the final answer is minus 1 over 3 x plus 1 over 3 now this 3 this 3 can I write this 3 this 3 can be written as 3 over 1 and 3 over 1 
is same as writing 9 over 3 because when you have fractions when you got a fraction and a whole number to add that I'm going to write this as minus 9 over 3 basically 9 over 3 is 3 and now you can simplify this so the final answer is y is equal to negative 1 over 3x or use your calculator negative 1 third take away 2 sorry take away 3 would be negative 8 over 3 to be exact okay so and this is the answer the exact answer the equation of this line is going to be the equation of this line is y is equal to negative 1 over 3x take away 8 over 3 or 8 over 3 is 2 and 2 thirds okay so this is the equation of this line so for the next part the next equation so the next question is to find the equation of a line passing through the same point but which is perpendicular to this line so I'll have to pause it because I want to erase this so can you do this yourself if you have a line which is perpendicular to this line the gradient would be is related to this number now the next part is you have to find the equation of a line equation of a line passing through the same point this is 1 comma negative 3 and per perpendicular to this line so perpendicular means a line which is forming right angle with this line so let me show that so that you understand what it means so if you draw a line which is passing through this point and perpendicular it may look uh, somewhat like this okay so this is yeah I think it's better okay I this is what it means that means this line you're talking about this line that is passing through this point this is 1 comma negative 3 it forms a right angle with this line so basically what's the equation of this line which is perpendicular to this line okay so the equation of this line is y is equal to negative 1 over 3x take away 7 by just looking at this line you can understand from left to right it is going up so the gradient has to be positive here and there is a simple rule to find the gradient of this line so let's call this uh, so you so let's call this let's call this line l1 and this is say l2 it's good to name so for l1 a gradient is negative 1 over 3 now l2 l2 which is the perpendicular line so to find the gradient of the perpendicular line what you do you do two things one is you swap the numbers so this will go up and this will come down so the gradient of that line would be 3 over 1 that's the first thing you swap the numbers or flip the numbers and then you change the sign from negative to positive so if it is negative it becomes positive and it also makes sense if this gradient is negative the perpendicular line gradient has to be positive and if it was positive you make it negative so two things first flip flip and change sign the next thing that you do is change sign and that that gives you the gradient of the perpendicular line change sign so I can say the gradient of this line is 3 3 over 1 is same as 3 so you got the gradient so we're going to write the equation of L2 so I can say M is 3 and x1 y1 this is your x1 and this is your y1 so the same process so let me use a different color y minus y1 
you can pause this video and try to do this yourself m times x minus x1 okay so this is y take away y y1 is negative 3 is equal to 3 times x take away x1 which is 1 okay so let's so this is y plus 3 is equal to 3 times x is 3x plus times minus plus times sorry positive times negative is negative 3 times 1 is 3 so now I'm going to add take away 3 from both sides is equal to 3x take away 3 take away 3 so the final equation of this line is y is equal to so this and this gets cancelled 3x minus 6 okay how would you confirm your answer by plugging in the value of x in the equation so let's confirm that when x is 1 y should be negative 3 so let me use a different color so how to confirm your answer y is equal to 3 times 3 times 1 3 times 1 3 times 1 take away 6 which is 3 take away 6 which is negative 3 so when x is 1 y is negative 3 so our equation is right